Welcome to the mystical realm of Petra, a city cloaked in the mysteries of time, nestled amidst the rugged desert landscapes of modern-day Jordan. With its towering sandstone cliffs, intricate rock-cut facades, and rich tapestry of history, Petra stands as a testament to the ingenuity, creativity, and resilience of its ancient inhabitants. In this captivating journey, we embark on a voyage of discovery through the annals of Petra's storied past, unraveling the secrets of this ancient marvel and delving into the lives of the people who once called it home. From its humble beginnings as a nomadic settlement to its rise as a bustling commercial hub and architectural wonder, Petra's history is a tale of triumphs, tribulations, and timeless beauty. Join us as we traverse the winding paths and hidden treasures of Petra, exploring its majestic monuments, sacred temples, and enigmatic tombs carved into the rose-red cliffs. From the iconic treasury, al Khazna, to the sprawling cityscape of the royal tombs, each stone tells a story of the civilizations that flourished within Petra's ancient walls. As we journey through Petra's past, we'll uncover the secrets of its Nabataean founders, who transformed a barren desert valley into a thriving metropolis through their mastery of water management and engineering. We'll witness the city's heyday as a crossroads of trade and culture, where merchants from distant lands converged to exchange goods, ideas, and stories. But Petra's history is not merely a tale of triumphs. It is also a story of decline, as changing trade routes, political upheavals, and natural disasters precipitated its gradual abandonment and eventual obscurity. Yet, even in its twilight years, Petra remained a beacon of inspiration, capturing the imagination of explorers, scholars, and artists throughout the ages. Today, Petra stands as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the world's most iconic archaeological wonders, drawing visitors from across the globe to marvel at its timeless beauty and ancient splendor. As we embark on this journey through Petra's history, let us uncover the mysteries of the past and pay homage to the enduring legacy of this remarkable city carved in stone. Welcome to Petra, a journey through ancient wonders awaits. Early History The early history of Petra traces back to the ancient Nabataeans, a nomadic Arab tribe who settled in the region around the 6th century BC. Originally a small settlement known as Rakhmu, Petra gradually evolved into a thriving city and the capital of the Nabataean kingdom. Situated at the crossroads of important trade routes connecting Arabia, Egypt, and the Mediterranean, Petra flourished as a strategic center of commerce and culture. The Nabataeans, skilled traders, and craftsmen, capitalized on their advantageous location to establish lucrative trade networks, importing goods such as spices, incense, silk, and precious metals, and exporting products like frankincense, myrrh, and spices. One of the key factors contributing to Petra's prosperity was the Nabataeans' mastery of water management and engineering. Despite being located in an arid desert region, Petra boasted a sophisticated system of dams, cisterns, and aqueducts that allowed the city to thrive even in the face of scarce water resources. The ingenious Nabataeans harnessed seasonal rainfall and redirected water from nearby wadis, valleys, to create a network of reservoirs and channels, providing a reliable water supply for agriculture, industry, and domestic use. Petra's early history is also characterized by its unique architectural style, characterized by intricately carved rock-cut facades, temples, tombs, and dwellings. The Nabataeans, skilled stonemasons and artisans, sculpted these magnificent structures directly into the rose-red sandstone cliffs, creating a breathtaking cityscape that continues to awe and inspire visitors to this day. Moreover, Petra served as a cultural and religious center for the Nabataeans, who worshipped a pantheon of deities including Dushara, the principal god of the Nabataean religion. The city was adorned with numerous temples, altars, and shrines dedicated to various gods and goddesses, reflecting the diverse religious beliefs and practices of its inhabitants. Nabataean Rule During the period of Nabataean rule, Petra reached the zenith of its prosperity and influence as the capital of the Nabataean kingdom. Under Nabataean governance, Petra solidified its position as a major center of trade, culture, and power in the ancient Near East. 
The Nabataeans were skilled traders and merchants who capitalized on Petra's strategic location at the intersection of key trade routes, facilitating the exchange of goods and ideas between Arabia, Egypt, and the Mediterranean world. The city's wealth and prominence grew as it became a vital link in the regional trade network, attracting merchants, travelers, and settlers from far and wide. One of the hallmarks of Nabataean rule in Petra was the city's remarkable architectural achievements. The Nabataeans, renowned for their mastery of stone carving and construction techniques, transformed Petra's rugged sandstone cliffs into a breathtaking urban landscape adorned with elaborate facades, temples, tombs, and other monumental structures. The most iconic of these is the treasury, al Khazna, a majestic mausoleum carved into the face of a towering cliff, which served as a symbol of the Nabataean kingdom's wealth and power. Petra also served as a political and administrative center for the Nabataean kingdom, with the city's rulers overseeing a vast territory that extended from southern Jordan to parts of modern-day Israel, Palestine, and Saudi Arabia. The Nabataean kings maintained diplomatic relations with neighboring kingdoms and empires, forging alliances and engaging in trade agreements that further enriched Petra's coffers and prestige. Furthermore, Petra flourished as a cultural and religious center under Nabataean rule, with temples, sanctuaries, and sacred sites dedicated to various deities and religious practices. The Nabataeans worshipped a pantheon of gods and goddesses, including Dushara, the principal deity of their religion, as well as Aleza and Manet, who were revered as goddesses of fertility and protection. Architectural Marvels Petra's architectural marvels stand as enduring testaments to the ingenuity, craftsmanship, and artistic prowess of the Nabataean civilization. Carved directly into the rose-red sandstone cliffs that characterize the region, Petra's structures are renowned for their intricate details, grandeur, and sheer scale. One of the most iconic architectural feats in Petra is the treasury, al Khazna, a magnificent mausoleum that greets visitors as they enter the ancient city. Carved into a towering cliff face, the treasury is adorned with elaborate facades, intricate sculptures, and intricate reliefs, showcasing the Nabataeans' mastery of stone carving and craftsmanship. Though its exact purpose remains a subject of debate, the treasury is believed to have served as a royal tomb or a ceremonial monument, symbolizing the wealth and power of the Nabataean rulers. Beyond the treasury, Petra boasts a wealth of other architectural wonders, including the monastery, ad Dare, a colossal structure perched high atop a cliff, and the royal tombs, a series of grand mausoleums that served as the final resting places of Nabataean dignitaries and elite. These monumental structures, with their ornate facades, towering columns, and intricate carvings, reflect the Nabataeans' reverence for the afterlife and their desire to leave a lasting legacy for future generations. Petra's architectural marvels extend beyond the monumental tombs and temples to include more humble dwellings, water channels, and civic buildings that once populated the city. The street of facades, lined with rows of intricately carved tombs and dwellings, offers a glimpse into the daily lives of Petra's inhabitants, while the great temple complex, with its impressive colonnades and grand staircase, attests to the city's religious significance and civic pride. Roman Annexation Following the annexation of Petra by the Roman Empire in 106 AD, the ancient city entered a new chapter in its history marked by cultural exchange, political integration, and architectural transformation. The Roman conquest of Petra brought about significant changes to the city's governance, infrastructure, and cultural landscape, as it became part of the vast Roman province of Arabia Petria. Under Roman rule, Petra continued to thrive as a regional center of trade, commerce, and culture, benefiting from the empire's extensive road network and economic infrastructure. The Romans further developed Petra's trade routes, enhancing its connectivity with other provinces and facilitating the flow of goods, people, and ideas throughout the empire. Moreover, the Roman annexation of Petra led to the introduction of new architectural styles, building techniques, and cultural influences that left their mark on the city's urban fabric. Roman architectural elements, such as triumphal arches, colonnades, and amphitheaters, 
began to appear alongside the Nabataean structures, reflecting the fusion of Roman and indigenous architectural traditions. One notable example of Roman influence in Petra is the Roman Theater, a massive stone amphitheater carved into the hillside that could accommodate up to 8,000 spectators. Constructed during the 1st century AD, the theater served as a venue for public gatherings, theatrical performances, and political events, showcasing Petra's integration into the broader Roman cultural landscape. Furthermore, Petra's strategic importance as a frontier city on the eastern edge of the Roman Empire was underscored by the construction of military fortifications, watchtowers, and garrisons to defend against external threats and maintain control over the region. These defensive structures, along with Petra's natural defenses provided by its rugged terrain, helped to secure the city's position as a key stronghold in the Roman frontier. Decline and Abandonment Following centuries of prosperity and cultural vibrancy, Petra began to experience a gradual decline and eventual abandonment starting in the 3rd century AD. Several factors contributed to this decline, including shifts in trade routes, political instability, and natural disasters such as earthquakes. As trade routes shifted away from Petra towards new maritime routes, the city's role as a major commercial hub diminished leading to a decline in economic activity and prosperity. Additionally, political upheavals within the Roman Empire and conflicts in the region further destabilized Petra and contributed to its decline. The city's vulnerability to seismic activity also played a significant role in its decline. A series of powerful earthquakes in the 4th and 5th centuries AD caused widespread damage to Petra's infrastructure, including its monumental structures and water management systems. The earthquakes, coupled with the city's dwindling economic fortunes, led to a gradual abandonment of Petra as its population dispersed to other regions. By the 7th century AD, Petra had been largely abandoned, its once thriving streets and squares left deserted and silent. The city's decline into obscurity was further hastened by the rise of Islam and the conquest of the region by Muslim armies, which led to the displacement of its remaining inhabitants and the gradual erosion of its cultural and religious significance. For centuries, Petra lay hidden from the outside world, its grandeur obscured by the sands of time and the shifting sands of the desert. It was not until the early 19th century that Petra was rediscovered by Swiss explorer Johann Ludwig Burckhardt, who brought the ancient city's splendor to the attention of the Western world. Rediscovery Petra remained largely hidden from the Western world for centuries following its decline and abandonment, known only to local Bedouin tribes who referred to it as Wadi Musa, Valley of Moses. However, Petra's obscurity began to fade in the early 19th century with the arrival of Swiss explorer Johann Ludwig Burckhardt. In 1812, Burckhardt, disguised as an Arab traveler, embarked on a perilous journey through the deserts of the Levant in search of the ancient city of Petra. His quest was driven by a combination of scholarly curiosity and a desire to explore the uncharted territories of the Middle East. Despite the dangers posed by bandits, harsh desert conditions, and the suspicions of local tribes, Burkhard pressed on, determined to uncover the secrets of Petra. After months of arduous travel and careful negotiation with local guides, Burkhard finally arrived at Petra, where he was met with awe-inspiring sights of towering cliffs, intricate rock-cut facades, and ancient ruins. Recognizing the significance of his discovery, Burkhard meticulously documented his observations of Petra's architecture, geography, and culture, providing the first detailed account of the ancient city to the Western world. Burkhard's vivid descriptions and illustrations of Petra captured the imagination of European scholars, artists, and adventurers, sparking a renewed interest in the ancient city and igniting a wave of archaeological exploration and excavation in the region. His groundbreaking work paved the way for subsequent expeditions and studies that sought to uncover the mysteries of Petra's past and shed light on its role in ancient history. UNESCO World Heritage Site Petra's designation as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1985 stands as a testament to its outstanding universal value as a cultural and archaeological treasure of humanity. 
This prestigious recognition acknowledges Petra's significance not only as a remarkable archaeological site, but also as a symbol of human achievement, ingenuity, and cultural heritage. As a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Petra is afforded special protection and conservation measures to ensure its preservation for future generations. These measures include strict guidelines for the management, maintenance, and restoration of the site, aimed at safeguarding its integrity and authenticity while allowing for responsible tourism and research activities. The inscription of Petra on the UNESCO World Heritage List also carries with it a sense of responsibility and stewardship, both for the local authorities and the international community. It serves as a call to action to protect and preserve Petra's unique cultural heritage, not only for its intrinsic value, but also for the enrichment and enlightenment it brings to humanity as a whole. Furthermore, UNESCO World Heritage status provides Petra with global recognition and visibility, attracting millions of visitors from around the world who come to marvel at its ancient wonders and immerse themselves in its rich history and culture. This influx of tourists brings economic benefits to the local community, supporting livelihoods and fostering sustainable development in the region. In conclusion, the history of Petra is a captivating saga of human ingenuity, cultural exchange, and architectural splendor that spans millennia. From its humble beginnings as a nomadic settlement to its rise as a thriving metropolis and architectural wonder, Petra has left an indelible mark on the annals of history. Through the centuries, Petra has witnessed the rise and fall of empires, the ebb and flow of trade routes, and the enduring resilience of the human spirit. Its majestic monuments, intricate carvings, and breathtaking landscapes continue to inspire awe and wonder in all who visit, serving as a testament to the creativity, craftsmanship, and cultural heritage of the ancient Nabataean civilization. Petra's designation as a UNESCO World Heritage Site ensures that its legacy will be preserved for future generations to explore, discover, and cherish. As we reflect on Petra's storied past, let us also look to the future with hope and optimism, knowing that this timeless treasure will continue to captivate and inspire generations to come. Petra stands as a shining example of the power of human creativity and the enduring legacy of our shared cultural heritage.